Okay, now. Okay. Preventive care is in and indulgences are out. Not that anybody would want to rain on your Christmas, but okay, under the new, oh, under Obamacare, what? Yeah, you want to be preventive? Yeah. So say goodbye. This could be your last great New Year's. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, they are now. They're by uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz says the Republicans know that uh, that Obamacare is a is a tremendous hit, and that they're you know that it basically they're going to run on how great Obamacare is, and the Republicans are basically they have no response. Oh, I can guarantee you that Bill O'Reilly says the Republicans. Okay, would a bill? Okay, here's the question: Is if the president of the United States were to go on Bill O'Reilly's show and he'd have to, he'd have to have his uh, nose wiped, how long would it take Bill O'Reilly to get a handkerchief to go wipe the president's nose for him? Because that's how much the president worships the ground. He said the Republicans. The reason why that Obama is able to do this is because the Republicans have no plan of their own. Oh, you know we got this right here. Is, we're carrying this because today this is something that Obama under Obamacare is going to rule out, which is indulgence. Republicans have put 59 different plans up since the Obamacare was created. 59. Oh. oh, well, I've not heard of any of them, and they said they've done 59. Well, they're not, there's no cohesive plan. They've supported 59. Well, then why haven't I heard it? My staff would have told me. It's because he doesn't do a thing on his own. He has a staff. Mm -hmm. He said my staff would have told me. It means he doesn't, he, he just, what he is, he's put, He's getting older and he's a talking head and he doesn't do his own work anymore. And Obama is simply ignoring what he previously said about Obamacare because he knows more than those who serve him. Well, that's, uh, that's the whole trick is they, they basically, no one can understand what is going on at the moment because he decided that the public, here's the way it works is, uh, you lose your doctor, you, know, you can pay to keep that doctor, nobody's telling you you can't. Well, it's forbidden under Obamacare, because if they're not in your plan, you can't keep them. So if you want to keep the doctor, you have to go out of your plan, and they don't cover anything out of your plan, which means you're paying, you know, full prices to go to your doctor, which may no longer even uh, want to do business with you, because they know that you can't afford them. So, and then the next one is, oh, there's going to have, they're going to have to raise taxes in every little community in the United States because of Obamacare. A business in New York City this morning is leaving New York City in New York State because they can't pay the, the taxes on Obamacare. They're supposed to be a small business. They're not supposed to have to pay the Obamacare stuff if you've got under 50 employees. Well, they're hitting the little companies because they know that they, they think that they can force them to pay in order to work where they're at. So, they're folding business up and moving to places where they don't have the problems. And China fights back against U.S. accusations of blocking WTO technology deal. Because they have no reason to go along with it. Because the, there no third world country, uh, you know, which basically India is the first. Where India should be, and a lot of Africa is just as modern as the rest of the world. They're calling them third world countries. They're going to go along with anything that's going to restrict their growth. So, I mean, uh, basically they said it's just a farce by Obama because they said, you know, like what I'm talking about, Bill O'Reilly and Obama, if the, uh, if the head of the Chinese government had a personal visit with Obama and he had to have his butt scratched, it would take about two seconds before Obama would be there to do it for him. Obama basically is so in debt to the Chinese, it's unbelievable. And Republicans need a plan B on Obamacare? That's the Democrats and, and Bill O'Reilly and others. And you know, they just can't stand by and let this happen. Well, yes, they can, because um, no less than um, than Jay Leno, who's being, you know, we know he's being fired for the second time at NBC from the Tonight Show, and he didn't read really voluntarily. But um, he, he said that, he said that comedians have never had such a wealth of, of material to work with under any other president before, as they have under Barack Obama and Obamacare, because every day there's something new that they can make fun of. Mm -hmm. They don't need a plan B. He's self-destructing himself. And Congress renews undetectable gun ban for a decade. That means you can't you, you can't uh, use plastic. They ban plastic guns. Here's a big thing. You know, my, my mirror bottle 
which actually belonged to Nikki. Um, my mirror, mirror bottle says to me, he says, if you're making a plastic gun, you're not telling people you're making a plastic gun. Remember, when you ban something, it only bans it from the good guys. The bad guys will still make plastic guns or glass. Any, you can make a ceramic gun. Anything that will basically can contain the explosion of a, of a bullet can, will be made illegally. Yes, and that's true, because the law-abiding citizens still abide by the laws. It's all the, the, guys the criminals that, that don't. The professional criminals will basically, um, okay, for instance, you can, this can be made, Actually, this simple thing here can be made into a weapon because you do nothing more than to you know coat the outside of this thing, and then you uh, you basically hollow out the end so it can come apart when you want it. Put a bullet in it, and then basically do nothing more than with something and go thump, and the bullet fires. Mm -hmm. That's how easy it is. And here's the trick: is they're banning plastic guns and glass guns. They don't ban the specialty ammunition that you would use for one of them. Mm. So things, they don't stop it. And it is now, oh, Roman Emperor Hadrian's Villa brought to life with gaming software. I know, it's just like people really, okay. The, they're trying to figure out why gaming is actually collapsing in the world. It's because they're doing something. Nobody cares about the Emperor Hadrian's villain in a game. Who in the world is Emperor Hadrian's <laughs> Hadrian, okay, um, basically she doesn't know history. Hadrian, <laughs> that was uh, basically like he, he's the guy that was fighting the you know the you know the druids and stuff. He made the, he basically partitioned England off and and built a gate to where the, his troops could go in and out. It's just you know, and it's called Hadrian's Gate, which is a great historical landmark, which mm -hmm. doesn't exist, but they they have the villas and stuff that people lived in and run by the gate. Oh. Colin Powell pitches single payer health care in the U.S. Oh, isn't that amazing? Colin Powell, who's a black person, is going the socialist way. He said that the wealthy should be made to pay for the, the health care. The, the wealthy were paying for the health care before, and the wealthy. So it, it was never, okay, what happened was Obama meant for it always to be single payer. The problem comes is he didn't mean for it to be such a disastrous thing to get to the single payer because uh, the, the people that he needs to pay it basically told him that, you know, that, okay, the work is this, the polls just keep turning worse and worse for the president. And he's got a 12 cent approval rating on some of his things now. And young, uh, it's 12 cent among young people. That is a disaster and only 30 some percent among Latinos. He's, he's uh, he can't find anybody to pay for that program. And the Democrats, you're not going to see a Democrat unless you're really liberal, vote to do anything that's going to help Obamacare. Well, the Republicans won't help us fix the problems, and they're voting in the place, should we? It's your problem. You voted for it. And Notre Dame sues over birth control mandate. Uh, okay, here's, here's how it works. The Obama administration's lawyers yesterday said on a thing that uh, the, uh, the, the, the the provision in the Constitution that basically grants religion, grants religious rights, was written by a, were written in a different time, and there are people that don't believe in that anymore, and you cannot force them to adhere to some to other people's religious beliefs. But then you can force the person who has a religious belief to adhere to the other person's belief. I mean, I, okay, most people by now know I danced when I was a young person. I danced between until I was in my forties. Uh, if you didn't, you know, if there were, you know, I, I grew up around gay people because dancers, there's a lot of gay people dancing. You know what? They didn't make, they, uh, they, they basically, everybody knew they were gay, but they didn't go hit on every straight person in the world like they do today. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the whole problem. I mean, I know people that are gay that basically have had their lives destroyed because of the gay rights movement. Their careers were destroyed. I mean, here, you know, that not. I mean, you got a guy. One, one actor I know had a lifetime of being a Boy Scout leader. The instant the parents found out that, that he was openly gay, he no longer was a Boy Scout leader. Mm -hmm. Never had a problem before, but the gay rights movement outed him. Mm. So. And I'm anti bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, this is old when you reap what you sow. Mm. 